to do here is talk about a tech tip. Um, my tech tip for uh, this week's show is uh, converting a PDF into an editable Word document. I dug and dug for this and uh, I could not find one that would do it on a Mac that was free. However, I found two that were free or freeware and were available for Windows. Number one is just simply called PDF to Word Converter. Uh, it's Windows only. Uh, it, the, the information says that there are many and many tools for converting Word documents into PDF documents but this is one that will convert a PDF into a Word document. So I know I've needed tools like this many times in the past and I went out and had to try to find them. I don't know if I used one of these but these are two that were recommended by the Freeware Genius and again uh, I'll have the links to these in the entire show notes but number one was called free PDF to Word Converter and it can be downloaded off of uh, www.hell.opdf.com uh, number two, the second one I found that was free, is called Some PDF to Word Converter. It says it can help you convert PDF to Word so you can edit and reuse your PDF content. Uh, using Some PDF to Word Converters, you can preserve the actual layout, text, and images, vector drawings of your PDF file. Convert your PDF documents to Word documents. Make your PDF content editing and reusable with Some PDF to Word Converter. This one can be downloaded at sumpdf.com. That's S-O-M-E P-D-F dot C-O-M. And again, I'll have the links to these in the show notes. But the tech tip this week is converting PDF files into editable Word documents. These are both two Windows-based applications that allow you to do that. I was able to find a few that were Mac-based. However, they were pay uh, applications and uh, I wanted to uh, bring some free applications to the plate here. So uh, that's uh, that's kind of the wrap on what we have. So uh, to review uh, the the news stories we spoke about, you know, AT&T finishing their uh, 3G deployment, bringing us HSUPA speeds of 1.4 down and uh, 800k up, which is going to be awesome. Ars Technica acquired for 25 million. Uh, a new Flash player coming out, Flash 10, is in its beta, and Comcast lying to the FCC, and also the new Netflix uh, set-top box for 99 bucks plus your subscription, and uh, Sprint also set to limit their uh, their 3G uh, data data uh, usage to five giga, gigabytes a month. So uh, following the other carriers. So that's uh, a wrap on this show. What I like to do here is just some general. Uh, talk and discussions, talk about what's coming up next on High Web Interactive and some other segments that we'll be bringing to uh, to the High Web Interactive forum. So, uh, viewers, I, I have slated the next High Web Interactive giveaway to be for June 5th. Uh, we've got some partnerships we're working on, so uh, we wanted to just you know continue the giveaways and that sort of thing so viewers uh, see the giveaway link on highweb.net for more details and the next giveaway is going to be June 5th and which is uh, you know a couple two three weeks from now uh, and remember to meet all of the eligibility requirements you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and you must register and make a comment on the blog and then just stay tuned for hot giveaways I'm going to type in my giveaway in the chat right now and it's going to uh, put a little plug in the chat for the giveaway and uh, if anyone's ever interested just come to live.highweb.net go into the chat room and just type my space giveaway and it will give you a link r directly to the, the giveaway sign up form and good luck and thanks for participating in these giveaways. Um, another piece of the general discussions I like to talk about is uh, future segments. HiWeb uh, just confirmed today that we're going to be bringing you a live uh, CD debut release concert on uh, June 7th. So stay tuned for that uh, on June 7th. We're going to be doing a collaborative marketing effort with Ustream and uh, bringing you this uh, this concert. Uh, probably starting. I think it's starting around 7:30 uh, Pacific time. So it's going to be. Uh, we're probably going to co-host it 
off of uh, High Web Interactive, but it's going to be run off of uh, another Ustream channel called The Crying Spell, and uh, that's the name of the band that we're going to be doing the CD uh, release for. And The Crying Spell is also the, the band that has uh, graciously provided the music for High Web's Lead In and Lead Out, uh, which is a, it's a, um, a remix of one of their new songs that they're going to be releasing on that day. So uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll talk about it in the next few shows that are coming up. Also, we're working on uh, you know some additional hardware reviews. We've got uh, I've got some hardware sitting behind me here that I just need to get some time to play with, and then I'm going to talk about that on the the on the show. Uh, I hope to get you know a, a voice over IP phone. McKee keeps bugging me about a voice over IP phone. I really need to go pick up one. I'm building a, a new uh, SIP server which is a session initiated protocol server and we'll continue talking about technologies like that and how uh, how people can you know continue to use the technologies and have fun you know doing stuff with this technology that we have the the pleasure of uh, playing with. Or at least for a geek like me I've got uh, I <laughs> I have lots of fun playing with this technology. I build solutions for large, large enterprises, and uh, when I come home, I can never just get away from this technology and uh, always playing and having fun with it myself. So I just like to share it with the the world, and uh, hopefully, then in turn, you guys share you know techno and geek speak with me, which helps me evolve and uh, even do more. Um, so also along the lines of that, we're currently engaging subject matter experts, i.e., you know, software developers, people in uh, green energy uh, positions in the world that can come and talk to us about uh, uh, stuff like this. You know, people that uh, may have specialized technology, audio uh, producing and audio engineering uh, expertise and that sort of thing. So we're looking at producing, you know, custom segments that will be driven outside of this Thursday show and uh, possibly on other days during the week or even on weekends and just kind of randomly produced off of uh, High Web Interactive or off of live.highweb.net. Um, some of the shows I'm creating separate Ustream channels for, but I'm always going to try to co-host it back to highweb.net uh, as well. So uh, users also, or viewers, if you want, uh, I really would appreciate hearing, uh, hearing more about what you'd like to see from High Web, whether it's tech tips, viewer questions, technology reviews, um, you know, that sort of thing. I'm actually, I'm willing to go out and buy new technology because I love it so much just so I can bring it to the, bring it home and play with it myself, but then I also want to share that stuff with you guys as well. So uh, send any of your comments to live at highweb.net or even just go to highweb.net and click on the, the contact button and you can send me a, a message about what you'd like to see on the High Web Interactive show. Um, also again to remind you, you can see any of the past shows here on uh, off of uh, live.highweb.net or I'm going to post the link to it uh, if I can type past shows into uh, chat right now. I think it's two words, but it's basically www.hiweb.net slash past shows.html. So I typed it in the chat in two words. My bot didn't respond, so it must be one word. Or either that or it's my past shows. <laughs> I need to write down a list of my bot commands, so I, I tweak this bot to uh, to make it easy for me to uh, to bring stuff to the plate here, but uh, I need to, uh, it's, well, whatever it is, uh, if you go to live, and, <laughs> there we go, Spandex, if you go, there we go, if you go to uh, live.highweb.net and just click on past shows, it'll take you to, uh, to, uh, the shows and you can also see the show notes for each of the shows and all the topics that I've uh, covered. I'm still tweaking the search engine. My search engine is not working on the website right now um, and as I build more content, this is show number 12, and as I get more content and more experience with this, uh, I'll get that search engine going and uh, we'll be able to search any of the news stories and any of the, the tech tips or viewer questions and uh, a lot of times I get, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks Spandex too. I uh, I get uh, I get some of the same questions over and over, so it's nice to be able to 
uh, refer people back to the website and say, hey, I answered that in show number X or show number five and uh, go check it out and or even, you know, in the future do more detail.